Hey y'all, it's Slippy with Gemini Homestead. It's been a while, hasn't it? Most of you know we've had the grandkids with us. So we've had a vacation here at the house with all three of them. And we have had a ball, I'm gonna tell you. But the garden was not neglected at all. The three-year-old helped me pick. He had to learn. He was picking flowers. You know, the little cute yellow flowers that produce fruit and vegetables? Yeah, he loved them little yellow flowers. Just saying. So we had to quickly do a 101, what flower to pick and what flower not to pick. You don't pick anything yellow. That's all. He was like, but that's all you have? I said, oh no. We had some purple flowers, so I let him pick petunias and stuff. But hey, for you ones that got little bitty ones, if they know their colors, just say if it's yellow, don't pick it. Then you might be safe. But anyway, Buddy's out there trying to mow to beat the rain. And I was like, you know, some of you may want to know how to make sweet heat pickles. And when I mean sweet and heat, the combination is to die for. Now, this was my Aunt Hazel's recipe. Now, we're talking, I was a teenager the first time I had these, and that was the first time that, about 12 or 13, that I actually had uh, Red Hot pickles. I have that. Uh, but none of my pickle recipes are refrigerator pickles. I'm gonna step off into that, just trying it. Mine's always been processing, canning, and so forth. But I think you guys are gonna like this. That's why I decided to turn the camera on and actually share. Now, this is not in one day. I started these 24 hours ago. It's 1220. So about noon yesterday is when I actually started the first process. Now these cucumbers are from our garden. I will recommend to use pickling cucumbers, but with the type of process, let me use that, the process, you can use a slicing cucumber, you're still gonna get the crisp. Um, and that's what you really wanna go for. You don't want a soggy pickle, but there's something about a pickling cucumber that really gives you that crunch, not just a crisp. So we're gonna get a crunch um, out of this, but I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm, I know y'all don't wanna hear me jaw jack. And I'm gonna show you what I started yesterday and then we're gonna move forward as if we're on the, you know, the very, which we are on the very next day. But I wanna show you what I did because I didn't film that yesterday. But I mean, what I show you should be easy to follow. Okay, let's pretend this is noon yesterday. Now, what I have here is a glass two gallon crock. This is what I've always done, my sauerkraut, my pickles and so forth. This is three pounds of sliced cucumbers, two gallons of distilled water, I used my Alexa Pure water, and one cup of pickling lime. So you got a cup of pickling lime, You've got two gallons of distilled water and three to four pounds of sliced cucumbers. Now you see it's not real cloudy. It's because I haven't stirred it in an hour. I normally come and stir mine every hour until bedtime. And you see that? That's what we're fixing to rinse off. But you can find these glass jars at Walmart. The first one I had was bought for me 20 years ago uh, from my mother-in-law and she got me another one. And this here is a canning cotton cloth and that's all I do. Before we move to the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you're gonna need. That way you can have all this ready for you ones that has never canned or wanna venture into making pickles. You're gonna need a canning pot, okay? It's called a water bath pot. This is not a pressure canner, this is a water bath. You can get them in various sizes, as long as it has a bottom, so your jars are separated. 
a stainless steel pot, you need a non-reactive pot. This pot's probably 60, 70 years old. Uh, and that's my brining pot. Okay, here's our ingredients. One half cup apple cider vinegar. Three cups white distilled vinegar. Two tablespoons yellow mustard seed. One half teaspoon turmeric. Four whole cloves. Three tablespoons cayenne pepper flakes, or you can use 15 dried cayenne peppers. I'm going to use nine whole garlic cloves, or you can use seven tablespoons of chopped garlic. This is really to taste. And then you're going to need two and a half cups of sliced yellow onion, sweet onion. You can add more, but with this amount, really don't go over two and a half cups. It will take away from the flavor you're trying to get. Now, when it comes to the sugar, it's three and a half cups of sugar, and I use pure cane. But the reason why I wanna emphasize on the sugar for the ones that may have never canned, I said three and a half cups. This is a dry measure. This is what you measure your sugar with. This is a liquid measure, okay? They are different. So I measured three and a half cups, put it into the liquid measure, and it barely makes three cups, okay? So these are great to use, but make sure when you're canning or anything, measure properly with a dry measure. Okay, here's our second step. Now remember, the cucumbers have been in a two gallon crock, two gallons of water in a glass crock, and I stirred every hour to crisp them up, and now we're fixing a wrench, and we're gonna rinse very well. But I'm pointing out the canning and pickling salt. That's the next step that we are gonna do. Okay, we've got them in our sink, and we're ready to rinse them. Now I'm gonna rinse these two to three times, but I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. And what I do is I just take a couple of them, rinse well, put them over into a colander. And like I said, I'll do this two or three times. I have found by taking the time and really rinsing, it works better. I have a better control of making sure that lime is off every slice by doing this okay as you can see we have our slices back in the crock make sure your crock is very very clean after using the lime but what i've done is i added the slices we added the onions i added a half a cup of pickling salt and i brought the water just even with the cucumbers so now we're going to cover it Walk away for two hours, and I'll bring you back to the final step. Okay, we've reached the two-hour mark, and we're going to get these rinsed. But while we are rinsing these, let me show you what we do with the brine. Okay, what I've done is I've got it set on a number three, and I'm letting the sugar dissolve into the vinegars and the seasonings. I, in the description, I'll leave the ingredients. So this way it speeds this up and we get everything dissolved, the sugar dissolved, and it also breaks down the garlic cloves. So we're going to let that do its thing. Okay, we've got cold water going into the sink. We're going to dump the onions and the cucumbers. Now I do have the stopper in the sink because I will be filling the sink up with clean cold water. Now we'll set this crock to the side and clean it later. Now all I'm gonna do, there again, I'm gonna pick them up just like we did before with the lime and I'm gonna rinse and I'm gonna do this a couple of times 
over into a column. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, the brine is almost there. Of course, I'll bring the camera in so you can see. You really want it to come to a boil before we add these beautiful, soon to be pickles. Y'all look at this. The snap is on real. The onions are crisp. That's what you're looking for. You want to get this to a rolling bowl. Okay, cucumbers are going to go in. Okay, as you can see, it's coming up to a simmer. Now, you don't want to over stir because you don't want to crack your, your pickles but it's almost at a, at a simmer. And we're gonna remove this from the heat and we'll start ladling up. You can start seeing the shimmer in the brine. We are almost there. Cause you don't wanna bring it to a bowl. You wanna bring it to a consistent simmer. Okay, we've removed the pickles. Now we're fixing the ladle. And for the sake of the video, so it's not so long, I'm going to do one jar, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to put them in the water bath. Now, okay, now I'm going to come in, get some of this out of the way, and I'm going to get the brine. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to this bottom ring, which is one half inch from the top of the jar. I'm using a bar mat because I'm able to really tap my jar without damaging it. A little bit more and I ought to be able to get those pickles packed down. Okay, we're good there. Now, I'm just using white vinegar with a paper towel, okay? And it's soaking wet. And all I'm going to do is come around I like to keep tapping it. I'm gonna go around the side, come around the top, because you don't want any of this sugar brine on this glass jar. And I'm gonna take a ring. Now, the new guideline says you do not have to heat these or boil these, and I am not. But if you still feel comfortable in doing that, then do so. Follow the guidelines. Now this is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna have to use a rag this is so backwards, y'all. I'm gonna have to put y'all back on my left side. Okay. That's one down. Plenty more to go. This makes me happy, y'all. I got seven pints in here. I've got about two inches of water above the jars. And what I'm doing is I'm watching it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, that's when we're gonna set our timer for 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, we're gonna get these jars up, be one step closer to some sweet heat Cajun pickles, y'all. There you have it, y'all. Seven pints of some delicious pickles. Let me pick one up and show it to you. Oop, there's the camera. Now what I'm gonna do, as I've showed y'all before, I've got them sitting on my bar mat. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put them to sleep. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if there is failure, we have a cracked jar, it's not gonna shatter. This right here will catch it. And these are gonna sit 24 hours. Okay, now I brought you up. These are gonna sit 24 hours, and then I'm gonna remove the ring, not the lid. I'm gonna wash the jars with some warm water. Now I did put vinegar in my pot, I forgot to tell y'all. 
I do that just by habit. I think I told you when I did the cherry jelly. What that does is it keeps the spots off the jars. But I'll clean the jars, take the rim off, or the ring off. I'm gonna date it, label it, put it in the pantry. Oh, but let me give you a hint. While that water is going for 15 minutes, let me show you. You can clean your kitchen. You know, why wait till it's all over? In between everything, you can wash things up. It gets you out of the kitchen faster. But until next time, God bless.